Hey guys, welcome along to another map tour with me, McConsole, here on the Xbox One. And today we're looking our first look at Vorpommen Rugen, perhaps, by Alzi VR. Sorry if I murdered your name. It is a 410.54 megabyte download and it has all your standard FS features, two courtyards with two viable placeable yards. Let's see how that works, that'd be interesting. 15 fields six forests and it has all the standard features on animals okay guys let's just uh let's take a look at the map so here we are you're in the mid-east area for your main courtyard here two fields we only seven of 15. a few uh, cell points spotted around cows and chickens by the look of it are on the main farm and the west side is where your sheep and your pigs are with your animal dealer too Okay, uh, that's interesting. I, I think maybe beside field five, between five and one here is a battle place in my yard. Not sure. But then again, it could be 17 and 16. Yeah, 17 and 16 are your battle place in my yards. Uh, field one must be the second courtyard to talk about this in between field one and field five. Uh, starting fleet is a KS 1455XL, a uh, Massey Ferguson 7700, a Manitou with Bale Fork, TC 590 Harvester New Holland with the corn and 18 foot grain header, a Metal Tack with a Dolly, boo, the Agro Liner with without a Dolly, yay, a uh, Row Crop Vatterstad Planter. Interesting starting. The Amazon Sprayer. A New Holland Dispine. A uh, Pickup and a Joskin. And that's our starting fleet, guys. Let's go scroll, run around, and take it into the map here. Go into the main yard. Okay. Um, looks like some seed. Whether seed, seed pallets, why it's fillable or not, I don't know. Our plant there. Okay, we have a storage area. We're working lights. Oh, we're in German or something here. Okay, okay. Oh, we have our vehicle customization buy and sale at the farm. That could be seeds. We'll have to see. There's our mana too. What's in here? <coughs> Doesn't open. Fuel point. Ooh, nice big storage barn. There's your sprayer. That door opens. I'll go out that way in a minute. Just a uh, open area. Oh, electric doors. Um, some old shed by the look of it. The rest of our starting fleet. And that looks to be the first courtyard. Let's just jump into the pickup and let's go have a look around. Straight to the cows, I believe this is the silage bunker. Standard giant's cow area. Water point? Yep, water point for the cows. Just a shed. Large grass field, large pasture area. 
doesn't look to be um, field definition so if you want to use that for the hard worker it looks like you'll have to plow it up Down here we have yes, yeah, slurrium manure pit. Pretty standard. Second feeding trough. Oh, and there's our water point. Cool. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. We'll go around the map. Yeah, why not? It's not a big map, guys. So we'll just drive around this one. I think. Past the main yard. Another sort of pasture area that probably could be mowed. Field one. What's the field prices like? A lot of pa a lot of open grassland areas here. Which that's one of the six forests. So we do have missions. So four point one three hectares for three hundred and thirty-four thousand two hundred and fifty-four. Okay, that's uh Okay. Where's my truck? Is it there? I'll just bounce over here because I believe the chickens are here. I can hear them. Oh, here they are. I feel there's no collision on the hedge, there's no collision on it. Interesting. Fence does. Uh, we'll work our way around the outside of the map, I think. We'll go mostly see everything by working around the outside of the map anyway. Okay, so it looks like we're meant to be in a valley or something. This is a fictitious map, it's not real. A lot of grass areas here, guys. A lot of grass areas. Another forestry section. And in front of us there too. That one looks to be the biggest though. Yeah, that would be the biggest forestry area on the map here. And let's see where we're going. Follow the road. And one of on the right here looks to be our first of our cell points. Let's go have a look. Oh. Okay, I'm <clears throat> I assume that's where you get rid of some slurry. I think this might be a biogas. It is. So two pretty huge pits. An in-ground digester. That, that's cool. Not very many people are doing that. I wonder if we can tip from a wagon with this. Because with a new snow bl snow blower, if we just easily lift it that way and put it in, that'll have to be seen. Uh, this is just your digested tank. And if we go on down here, there should be another cell point on the map. It's the number yard straight from Sosnovka, giant standard. So there's your wood chips. There's your wood. A lot of buildings around them. Spectacular. Okay, so where are we? Okay, we'll head straight along here then. It's got a. Um, I want to say Eastern European feel about it. Another forestry area. We'll turn down. Yeah, no, down. We'll follow the outside road. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, very open map. Trees along the side could give us some issues with workers. Another huge grassland area there. Not owned, but again, it'll have to be plied if you want to use it. I assume. Yeah. It's not a standard feature. 
actually it has an odd ship. Uh, I think that up on the left there is another seals area, so we'll have a look there too. Not a huge grassland area, guys. There's plenty of grass to be mown here. Um, yeah, in here. We have... A straw grass bale sale point and also a grain delivery of some sort here looks like it was taken right off Sofnovka as well I may be wrong about that look at the detail underneath that, it's pretty cool one sec guys, run into some type problems here and we should be back sorry about that uh, don't know what the issue is there to be honest guys it just loses the connection then again I think I'll maybe quit this and go back to doing it the normal way let's head up straight up the map and uh, I believe this is one of our first placeable areas here to buy okay not the hugest of the areas but you know it's there I suppose you can take the tree down and make it even bigger if you want okay and that will cost you 122,645 for the placeable area here out of interest, I know we've only got 25 grand, but we'll see if we have any placeables that we can put down for that price. No, so we're going to have to be buying it before we can place on it. Cool. <coughs> okay, let's keep on heading up north. way track there no it's not it's just a forest area cool um bit across country guys nice big pond of some sort and this is the pigs standard gold crest I believe this is another viable area for your placeables. I don't know what they get. No. Two more silage pits. Do they work? They do. This must be our second big courtyard. A seed. More seed. I think this is our second courtyard. Do these work? No. That's obviously a fill grain, the fill the grain point. It looks to be like the silos. What's this? Silos, yes. That's obviously where we f empty our crops. Could be a lot of back in there, guys. Two big silage bunkers there are pretty cool. Bit away from the cows though, it's strange why they put them here, but we'll, we'll get on with it. Just a large storage area. Okay, so that must be our second courtyard. So we've seen the um, seen the piggies. Animal cell point. And there's some other kind of drop off here as well. Mirror. Yeah, knock your 
thing flying there. And this is our animal cell point by the look of it, in case they sell chickens. Chicken eggs, sorry, selling point for eggs. Don't know where I got to sell chickens from, but you know. Any of them open? Not at all, I suppose. Just a bit of storage. Interesting how the rental sign got passed the test in, but anyway. Just storage. And that must be your buy sell point for your animals here. That is. Okay. Oh, nothing in there. And we'll just continue on then. We head back. Head north. Actually, tell you what, we'll do a bit of cross country and we'll go and see if we can see the sheep. <clears throat> so, this way. <laughs> More huge areas of grass. Small community. Hedges don't have collisions. Just taking a shortcut, guys, just to um, try and make things a bit quicker. And our sheep are here. Just the standard giants again. Buy sell. No. Buy sell. Will spawn. Although it's interesting how the buildings are, what way that's going to affect it. Yeah, just you're feeding your water troughs across there as normal. Well, let's continue on. Head north. So we've done the sail points in the middle of the map now. And the next two are coming up here on our left. Ooh. Another forest area, smaller one this time on our left. Um, not sure if we're going the right way, but. Okay, that is a cell point. That one I believe from Goldcrest as well. Just run the back. Do these doors open? No. So that is your potato cell point, and you have to open the door to get to it. That's pretty cool. Never seen that yet in one of our maps. So let's keep on continuing up north. Very easy map to get around this actually. It's um, different to have a map that's easy to get around. I wonder if I see it. A huge grass field out here, guys. You can mow here to your heart's content. And I have a feeling this is going to be another placeable area here, like I said. Uh, it looks pretty strange, but how do we get in? We're going from the start anyway. Okay, up over here. Yeah, placeable area. What is this one? 133 grand for toxic. Interesting the way they put grass in the middle of it, but possibly thinking you're going to put buildings in the grass area. And we've lost connection again. Ah. Two seconds, guys. Uh, I think we'll stop doing this and go back to doing things the old way. I don't know what the problem is there. 
What happened during the live stream a lot the other night as well? Can you get it looked into maybe? Maybe some Cat6 cable or something maybe help? I don't know. Uh, and our last cell point is coming up here. Oh, past that. Huge. The grass area this is amazing, guys. Honestly, play it up. Use it. And this is the last of our cell areas. And this is going to be your spinnery then, for your will. I think this is shoot off stuff in those guys as well, I'm not sure. Can't remember. Um I don't believe it's just straight back to the main yard from here. Other way. Another large forestry area there. Some more communities. This is field seven. This is the one we own. Not this. Oh, pretty big. Pretty square to start with as well, which will help out. And we're back to the start. Chickens, yay! Let's get back to the house. Oh guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Um, not the biggest of maps, probably not the most detailed of maps, but it's quite functional. Let's have a look at the map again. Your biggest field is going to be field field two, I would believe. Field two is going to cost you. Two million dollars. Two million pounds, two million monthly units. It gives you 68 min minutes to do the fertilizer with a larger vanilla spread or two. So, just goes to show you it's 23.69 hectares. So, that's a big field. Um, yeah, guys, so let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are on this map. Uh, again, as I said to you, it's probably not the most detailed of maps. Plenty of grassland if you like your mowing. Um, means you can make some good money with silage and whatnot there. Uh, <clears throat> cell points are pretty spread out across the place to give you a bit of drive, so it's not going to be too boring. Uh, cows are at the main yard, always a good thing. Pigs and sheep are a bit far away. Pigs I don't mind so much because I don't really use them that much. Sheep, maybe a bit closer to the farm would have been nicer, but you know, they're there. If you like your forestry, there's some nice forestry areas. Uh, Two buyable placeable yards, which you have to buy. That is actually quite interesting. I'd, I'd like to know how they've done that. I think it's just a field boundary around them. You can't place them because you don't own it. Uh, yeah, so guys, let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching. Apologies for the few technical difficulties through that video. And I shall catch us all again pretty soon, guys, um, in the next video. Bye.